welcome back to ddtlife.net. My name is Erika and today I would like to introduce you Mitterra New Hira, designed by Alberto Abudin and Diego Benavente, published by Adeboran Games on Kickstarter for 2 to 6 players. Mitterra New Hira impressed me for a very particular reason. Think about the hardest German game you know and imagine you got a spell able to turn it into a game suitable for everyone without losing its charm. This is Mitterra. Players operate both on the main board on their personal board the farm. It's important to locate three main sectors. During the game, the players collect animals and seeds from the countryside that will be planted and breeded in the farm and refined in the city factories. Players can collect money selling refined goods in the market and gain some extra attending reviews. The winner is the player with more money at the end of the haste round. At the beginning of the game, the round marker is placed on the first turn and the card is turned from the even deck whose effect will happen at the beginning of the second turn. After defining a random order for turns, the first player places his money marker on 10 pesos, the second player on 11 pesos and so on. Workers are then placed in the farm using the following scheme. A first special round is immediately played. The reverse game turn order is applied and each player chooses two resources among these one. Every player may choose a different resources combination. Players go through three different phases at, very, at every round. They will get back later on the first phase, the maintenance. The second phase is the work year's placement. Starting from the first player, everyone plays one work year and passes the turn to the next player until there are no work years left. A work year can be placed on a free wagon wheel icon on the board, even if the location is already occupied by a work year of the same color. The third and last phase is about work years activation. When you activate the work years in a location, they act at the same time, besides some exception, should an order of activation be required. It follows from left to right. The phase begins resolving the first sector where players activate. Forest. This is where fences are placed at the beginning of the game. During the activation phase, a player gets a fence for each work year he owns and places it in the farm, thus occupying two places. If there is any plant, these are lost. One's fence can be shared only by animals of the same time, with the max number of three. Greenhouse. Apples, wheat and grapes are placed here at the beginning of the game. During the activation phase, a player gets a seed for every work year and puts it on a free space in the farm. Breeding of cows, poultry, sheep. This is where at the beginning of the game, cows, chicken and sheep are placed. During the activation phase, a player rolls the given dice for each work year and gets a number of animals equals to the dice result. If a player gets more animals than he desired one, he can convert it into a meat unit. Plus, each player puts a work year here at the beginning of the game. During the activation phase, a player regains the activated work year and an extra one if the player pays an amount in pesos equal to the double of the number of work years he presents. The third phase continues resolving the second sector where players activate water mill. Ten water tongs are placed here at the beginning of the game. During the activation phase, the player rolls the given dice for each work year he has and gets a number of water tokens equal to the dice result. These tokens have to be immediately placed between two files to provide irrigation, but only if they create a path to your farm. The starting apple and the file on the left are considered already irrigated, as an alternative water tokens can be placed on a hearse training sample without water. The player that draws the last water token triggers the drought, as a consequence every player must return a water token to the water mill. The only exception is for the player who triggered the draw, if the token he just drew is the only one he has. Industrial improvement. At the beginning of the game, the decks A and B are put. Four cars are placed on the location from deck A. Work years can be placed on one of the following five positions. Work year activation follows the turn order, but only a work year per player is activated at time. Each player can optionally buy the tile he is touching. The price of the tile in pesos is equal to the number of tiles the work year is touching. Once the player has it, the tile can be placed in one of the three spaces available on the farm. 
If there are no space available, a previous improvement will be covered. Clock Tower At the beginning of the game, 5 horses are placed here during the activation phase. For each player work here, he chosen to either draw or reward the first 4 market cards, or take a horse and put it in a free stable. Stables can be used to build a fence. Once this is done, they can be used to store a horse. Animal Origin Products During the activation phase, for each player's work here, he pays 5 pesetas and checks if in the farm the requested animals are available, then he actually gains said reserves. If he has enough animal, he can produce every listed reserves using the same pesos and work here. Only the available animal can be used at this stage, not the one used for industrial improvement. A card representing the reserves produced is undrawn. Vegetal Origin Product During the activation phase, for each player's work here, he pays 5 pesetas and uses the requested vegetable. Then he gains the needed reserves. If he has enough animal, he can produce every listed reserves using the same pesos and work here. A card representing the reserves produced is drawn. Tertiary products. During the activation phase, for each player's work here, he pays the requested amount of resources to obtain the wanted one. He can keep producing the needed product until he has available reserves. A card representing the reserves produced is drawn. The third phase continue resolving the third sector where players activate. Farm. Following the turn, each player activate his work here. Work here can be placed between two files. If they are irrigated and have the same type of plants during the activation phase, the work here produce both files. If the files have different type of plants, the player has to choose one of them. Cards representing the resources produced are then drawn. A player can return a water token far from the selected files and double one production that anyway cannot exceed four goods. If the stable has water, a player can return it with one or two apples to increase the level of the horse by one or two. Industrial improvement does not require to activate a work here. Market. At the beginning of the game, players split market deck A and B, and from deck A they reveal 4 cards if the number of players is 4 or less, 6 in a 5 or a 6 player game. Work heels are activated starting from the top wheel. The two top wheels allow the use of one market tile, the third and the fourth allow the use of two tiles, the last two allow the use of the tiles and or the black market. Transaction in the market cover puts into puzzles. After each transaction, the market card is discarded and a new one is revealed. In the black market, a player can sell or buy a maximum of 3 goods of the same type per work year. City market At the beginning of the game, 4 cards from deck C are revealed and the rest of the deck C is removed from the game. Only one work year can use a card, then the used card is discarded and no new card is revealed. Blue deal This event is triggered at turn 3, 6, 8 and they are worth 15, 20, 30 pesos. There is no need to place a work here during the worker placement phase. When a radio is triggered, following his turn order, each player declares if he's going to attend how many horses he wants to use. Some events trigger radios. If it happens at turn 3, 6, 8, only one radio is activated with a plus pesos bonus. The horse with the higher level wins the prize in pesos plus two resources between this one. After word, the horse is discarded. The second prize is then assigned. The player gets half the pesos of the first prize and chooses one reserves. Then his horse turns back to level one. The other players get in turn half of the previous prize and reduce to the half the level of their horse once they got the prize. Thereafter, a new round starts with its maintenance phase. The round marker is moved and if the sixth round is reached, all the A cards are removed from the market and the deck B is prepared. Then, for industrial improvement A, are replaced by B. An event card is revealed. Up to the fifth round, the effect A is active, starting from the sixth. The effect B comes in. The coins own define the new player order because who has the lower amount of coins will have the first turn. The market cards are removed from the lower row and they are substituted by the market cards with the arrow. Then the number of market cards is brought again to 4 or 6. Eventually the industrial improvement are renewed. At the end of the haze round the game ends. These are the high level materials and these are the bonus points that you can gain at the end of the game for each material set of the same type. These are the bonus points that you can gain for the set of different materials. Moreover, at the end of the game, 
some industrial improvements give extra coins reaching specific objectives. Eventually, the exceeding normal resources can be sold at the black market for half price. Nitiera immediately got my attention thanks to the graphic that recorded to my mind video games like Harvest Moon and Animal Crossing that share the same subject and that I loved. I was surprised that other than the excellent graphic there is a very very solid game. As I told at the beginning of the review, I'm amazed by the author's ability to keep the appeal of a classic German game but making it playable by everyone without losing appeal and depth. Moreover, even if it could seem a trifle, it's interesting to discover new places in a Euro game, so let's abandon for once the usual place like Germany, Italy and France. We started to trade in pesos, show off our horses at the rodeo and produce some chica. I'm sure that this was a precise game design choice, choice that I really like. Ultimately, we suggest this game to everyone and we can summarize Mid-Terran and Hardcore German game para todos.